Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. Um, my name is Honor Stark and I'm a YouTuber, um, I'm a mom, I am a person that is almost 50 years old. I talk about mature skin, I talk about um, the cancer treatments that I have been going through, I talk about um, migraines. I talk about all this serious stuff and you know, I really wanted to do something actually kind of fun. I uh, saw this video and this woman was just going through um, what she kept in her purse and I was so fascinated. I was like, oh my gosh, I never would have thought. Now, I really think what you keep in your purse or your wallet or your bag um, really um, says a lot about your personality and I think that you'll find that my purse describes me to a T. It is um, quite hilarious actually. So I wanted to do something really upbeat and positive and um, I wanted to um, just let you all in on my, my secrets of what's in my purse. And here it is. <laughs> um, I'm sitting so far back from the camera so you can actually see it, but it is, um, it's really, really, um, I, I think it's just beautiful and plain. Um, it's a it's a Michael Kors and it has a, a front pocket here with um, another area for a zipper. Now that houses my car keys and my car keys have something very special on it. Um, uh, my firstborn went to Queen's University, so you know I, I know I should be adding the other universities and colleges that my other kids have gone to, but I haven't. Um, they haven't given me a keychain yet, so I still have this on. I think I'll keep it on for quite some time, and I always know where my keys are. Now, at the back of the purse is there's a big huge pocket here that I can use um, and that's where my cell phone goes in. So I always have it in the same spot. I know where it is all of the time. Uh, I never have to look for it and um, it's safely there while I'm driving and out of the house. So what's in my bag? Well, I think I'm a little bit of um, an organizational freak. I like things just so. I'm not a, you know, whimsical kind of person. I, I like structure. I love, I love, love, love a good routine. Oh my gosh, routine is my friend. So when I leave the house, I think, okay, what if there's a catastrophe? Do I have the items in my purse? And the answer is yes. Yes, as a matter of fact, I do. So first and foremost, eyeglasses. I can't go anywhere now without them. And I uh, just got progressives uh, six weeks ago and I'm still learning how to um, use them because down at the bottom of the glasses is for close-up. See, I can see myself perfectly, but I gotta lift up my face. Middle is sort of, you know, I would see the dashboard really well. And if I put my head down, I can't, you're all blurry. Um, it's just for distance, but um, I'm trying to get used to these. I can't really film with them on because they have such a glare. There's also going to be a glare right there from one of my lights, but we're gonna ignore that. So I always, um, I always have my glasses on. If I don't have my glasses on, I have my sunglasses on. And they are exactly like these. These are Ray-Bans. Um, they are really, really comfortable. I mean, this is so lightweight and the nose pieces, the only problem I have, if I do flip them up, they get caught in my hair. Usually they get stuck in my hair and they can get stuck in my hair while I'm driving and I can't get them out. But, so I have my other set. Now these are sunglasses. I wear them every day. I wear the same pair every single day. I would love to be able to switch up um, my uh, sunglasses and but I have to have a prescription so you know it's just not financially a good decision to get progressive lenses oh there's my kitten you're gonna see my baby <laughs> walking back and forth he's been uh, wandering around the house crying uh, ever since it was uh, you know about an hour ago so I, I keep having to pet him and this is what I'm keeping close by does anybody else use this like crazy? Because, you know, 
Neat freak, yep. So keep that close by. And sunglasses. So my sunglasses, um, I love them. They remind me of the 80s because of the, the band right across there. Um, they're very comfortable and lightweight. And so they're exactly the same as my, um, my indoor glasses. So in this bag, I thought, you know what? Maybe I can be that person who could just wear a clutch, use a clutch. So I have a clutch in here. Now I'm using this as my makeup bag currently, but today, as I went into the grocery store, um, I used this. I didn't bring in this big heavy bag. But you know what, it's really so inconvenient because how, how do you carry this? Like this is just, I mean it's gorgeous and it's small, it's lightweight, it's easier to get in and out of the car and you're just, you know, you got all these uh, bags for the groceries and so um, I really tried it today and I think uh, it's not, when you're doing errands, it's not, it's not great. But in here, I keep everything that is for, you know, the disaster zone, <laughs> just in case. So definitely have Kleenex. Most definitely I'm a chronic blow my nose kind of girl. Uh, we have some facial cleansing wipes. These are just, I bought them because they were very, very small in a nice small little reusable package. They're really good, like if I spill something, um, I can use these. Um, oh, so today, yep, I used, uh, just put my credit cards in here and my bank card in here. I also, oh, look at that. We have some um, Band-Aids, just in case. Um, a cloth for my eyeglasses. The adapter for my iPhone because I have the um, iPhone 8 so um, you need to put this end in if you listen to um, I have Bose um, headphones that are noise cancelling and I always always bring them with me but I need to use the adapter and then I have of course my um, setting mist and this is this is um, by uh, Supergoop and it is for sunscreen. So you put that on top of your makeup and it's easy, easy peasy. And I love that because I get really, really nervous if um, like I put sunscreen under all of my makeup and I have so much makeup on my face that I'm quite covered all of the time but I like to give it a little bit more just as the day goes on. So I have a protein bar in here just in case I get hungry um, and, I, and my blood sugar level just drops when, I, when I'm out. I find that happens to me quite a bit now as I'm older. So I'm always keeping snacks, headbands, my perfume, just a little roller. I try to be sensitive to other people and um, their scents and how that would trigger um, uh, headaches or a migraine or an allergic reaction. So I just, it's not coming out until you roll it a little bit more. There we go. And there, and I'm happy. Because if people around me are smoking um, or you know, I just go into like they're cooking, something's really strong. I just like to have, um, I just don't want to smell like that. I can't stand smelling the smoke on me. Um, it really, it really annoys me now as an ex smoker. <laughs> That's so cute. So I have, you know, all of the necessary bobby pins. I do have um, a lip gloss that's a lip pencil and i have i just got from a girlfriend of mine she just uh she said oh you should try this product and i did and it's the lip sugar scrub uh sweet exfoliating balm and it's from dior and it is amazing it's a little hard to get out um, but it's uh it goes on absolutely clear and um it's just a like a sugar and it just goes on as a nice, nice balm. And you just, it's 
very nice on your mouth. So I keep that with me. But my favorite, this is my absolute favorite. As I get older, you know, I don't think it's really appropriate that I wear blue lipstick, but I really absolutely don't care. I love it. I have so much fun just, you know, putting on my glitter. I'm learning how to do my eyebrows. I'm learning how to do um, a dewy look because my face is just so dry all the time. So this is so hydrating on my mouth. See, it's just blue lips. I love it. And my lips are covered. My lips need to be covered all the time anyway, um, just to keep them out of the dangerous um, sun. So, you know what? Why not have blue lipstick on? I love it, it makes me so happy. Oh, and I have a Tide stick. Okay, so that is what I tried to live with today in the store and it wasn't happening. So, in the rest of this big purse, Oh my gosh, I love this purse. I have a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful passenger, no, messenger bag. It's a Prada, it's black, it's got all kinds of pockets. It is huge, but I love it, but <laughs> I haven't used it in a very long time. It's a gorgeous purse. I have to remember to uh, get it out of my closet and switch my um, purses up once in a while. But I just find that this one is just great. So in, in my purse, in, oh yes, we find, gum, pen. Most important part, one of the reasons why I take a lot of things with me is the fear, that awful, awful fear that you have if you're a migraine sufferer or you get frequent headaches. You know what I'm talking about. You have such a fear of being somewhere, visiting, having a good time, but needing to drive yourself home and you are um, away from home and you're getting a headache and it's really bad. Well, I have to bring medication with me. I bring medication um, that is prescribed by my doctor. Um, if you want to find out about what's good for you, you should go and consult your doctor because um, I don't like being any kind of um, uh, authoritative person on any kind of medication for anyone else but for my own body. Um, even with my own children, they really need to get the doctor's advice. Um, I, you know, I'm really, I'm a very strong supporter of everybody, every, every person's body is different. Yes, so you, you really need to um, investigate and see what works for you. But for me, I have a severe um, anxiety disorder, so I have to bring medication with me that is sort of under the tongue, and what it does is it prevents a really uh, significant anxiety attack because I can have that while I'm driving. Uh, I was in a car accident last May that was very significant. It completely totaled my car and someone hit us from behind. And now while I'm driving, I, I'm a very cautious driver anyway, but now I get a little bit of anxiety if I see like motorcycles speeding or I see other cars that are speeding. And so I'm just very aware of emotionally how I am when I'm driving or how I'm interacting with people. Um, having uh, migraines and um, an anxiety disorder, um, you just m learn to manage things and um, you know, you just, you're not ever perfect at it. Um, I've come to be able to talk about it and let people know that um, it's okay. You know, I have an anxiety disorder, no big deal. I have my medication in my purse with me all the time and just knowing that gives me a big peace of mind. So, um, my um, headphones, so these are noise canceling. So if I'm in an environment that um, like an airport or I'm in a long line or someone has forced me to go into Walmart and the lines and the um, people yelling and lots of, um, you know, um, or in the grocery store people are yelling or, you know, I just, I can tune them all out and I can just go into my own happy, peaceful world and I really love that. So my Bose headphones, I have my my wallet that has the rest of my life history in here. <laughs> that, you know, everything's in there in case something happens, I don't know what. Another energy bar. 
Now this, I have kept in my purse ever since my best friend gave it to me. Um, my best friend Colleen gave this to me um, years ago now. And it hangs and what it does is it hooks onto your bag and it goes and it hooks onto um, the counter and it's actually magnetic, I had it upside down. <laughs> so you just, it's magnetic and it can hang on um, countertops and all kinds of different places. She gave this to me for Christmas and I, I really, I love it. I've kept it in all of my purses ever since. So now the other things that I keep in my purse, um, okay, I'm just putting it out there. I really, I, I really like um, washing my hands, sanitizing my hands, but if I don't have, if that's not available in somebody's bathroom or God forbid you're, you know, out at a store and you need to use the, the washroom, I bring Cottonelle wipes with me. So I keep them in a plastic bag and I can, you know, successfully, um, wash the the toilet seat if I really need to and not touch it or I can you know uh, really wash my hands afterward really well and um, you know generally I can wipe anything down with these and I and I bring them everywhere I have them in every bathroom in my home and uh, this is what I get and I think it's a fantastic idea. It gives people um, a little bit of comfort knowing that they can just, you know, wash up as they need to, as they would at home when they're in my home. So it's not very discreet. Um, this is on the back of the toilet or somewhere placed conveniently um, on uh, the counter. And I just fill these up with the uh, wipes and so you know you can uh, wipe up your back end area you can wipe your hands you can wipe your face and, and these are really hygienic and i really feel happy and secure when i have these in my purse i love it you know i'm just not i i just have my routines and i just have my comforts and um it's so really, oh gosh, it's so nice to get older and to just not care that you're so different, you're so unique. Um, you know, a, a lot of my time when I was younger was spent on, oh my gosh, you know, my anxiety disorder and my migraines and, you know, having cancer at a very young age. I just felt like, oh, you know, I'm just not gonna talk about these things with people that I don't know. But now, here I am uh, on my channel talking about what's in my purse. Now, you can tell that um, I'm routined um, and you can tell that I'm organized and I love to be able to offer other people things that are in my purse. So whether it's a snack or whether it's a piece of gum or a pen, you know, you're giving that away to, you know, people, you can random people. I'll offer like babies to play with um, little safe things in my purse. Oh, the last thing that I found today, I found this at the, um, sorry about the crinkling noise. I found this at the health food store today. They're called banana brownies. And um, they're new, it says nutrient dense, flavor intense, pure banana snack. And there's four in this packet. Now I'm telling you, I loved this. A banana brownie. It was so good. It was delicious. There's no sugar in here, none. Yay. So if you can find that um, in the health food store. I'm going back because they're individually wrapped um, and they are absolutely delicious. They look kinda, they look kinda shady. Here's one. <laughs> they look, you know, hmm. I wonder what that is. Some people might think this is something else in my purse, but it's not. It is actually a banana brownie and they are absolutely delicious, absolutely delicious. And so that's what's in my bag. And you know, if I could keep um, 
I don't like to use plastic bottles, so um, I generally bring water with me and I can stick it in there. I can put so many things in here and it makes me really comfortable. You know, I could probably even, I should have a smaller version of this actually to put in my bag. So what do you put in your bag? What kind of person are you? Do you bring a bag? Do you have a purse? I know so many people that are awesome. They don't have a purse. They don't bring a purse. They have a wallet or they put their things, just their cards in their pocket. You know, whatever floats your boat, whatever makes you happy, embrace it. Love is love. Just remember, love wins all the time. Be yourself and let me know what you have in your bag. Thanks for watching my video. Oh, I so appreciate it. And thank you so much for subscribing. If you'd like to be notified, please hit the little bell um, for your notifications for any kind of um, videos that I'm gonna be putting up. I'm gonna be doing some reviews of some makeup that um, I've been using this month. And so I'm um, looking forward to uh, uploading some more videos. And uh, I hope you have a wonderful day. And thanks so much for being here. Bye.